If you want to learn what I call the nine o'clock secret to hitting a great biting slice, then this is the video to watch. In this video, I'm going to show you what I call the nine o'clock secret to making sure that you can start hitting biting slices in your next match. So stay tuned. So, like I said, in this video, you're gonna learn what I call the nine o'clock secret to hitting the biting slice. Now, first of all, why is the slice so important? The slice is a great shot to mix it up. You know, so many players are, are so focused on hitting topspin, they forget the slice is a great change up. A lot of times, because you've geared your, uh, your opponent or you've grooved your opponent to hitting so many topspin backhands or forehands, they just get in a groove and they get used to it. So it's nice to have a nice slice to throw in there to throw off the timing to get a short ball or even get a couple mistakes. Another thing about the slice is a great shot to approach the net. You know, I know we focus so much on the ground strokes, but you know, um, the net and the midcourt game is still super, super important. I think you're seeing that more and more that you know on the pro uh, tour, where you know so many great players are great from the baseline, and you're seeing them really have to focus on the midcourt game and when they have opportunities hitting quality balls. So in this uh, video, like we said, I'm going to show you how to hit the keys or the one key that I think is really important to hit a knife, knifing slice. So, why do I call it the nine o'clock secret? Well, I think of it this way. Think of this as a face of a clock, and this being nine o'clock. Now take nine o'clock and find your collarbone, this bone that runs right here. And what I wanna do is set the racket up here. One of the biggest, I think, hurdles a lot of players have is the setup for the slice. They either go too far back, or they don't go enough, or the racket's too far ahead. A great way is just saying, Think about nine o'clock and you're gonna rest that on your collarbone. The next part of the slice is very simple. It really resembles uh, your backhand volley. Most people think the slice is all about hacking down on it and that's a huge mistake. If you're hacking down too much on a slice, what's gonna happen is potentially the ball is gonna float because you open your racket up or you're gonna take the ball in the net. You know, a slice is just like if I was hitting a backhand volley and coming across the ball, that's the same exact action that you're gonna to use to hit the slice. So I'm gonna set up with nine o'clock on my collarbone with the butt of the racket pointing away. And all I'm gonna do is pull the racket across my body. That's how you get the biting slice. There's a lot of force and penetration through the ball because I'm not hacking down, but there's also because of the action of me pulling down and across, Okay, and when I say down, I'm not exaggerating the down. It's very a subtle down and a cross action that you're gonna get a lot of bite on the ball. Okay, and that looks like this. So I'm gonna set up and I'm gonna wait for the ball. And all I wanna do is make sure I take the ball at the level and hit through it, okay? So I'm gonna turn my body. And you can really hear how there's a lot of penetration on the ball. That one I opened up a little too early, got a little too close, but you wanna make sure that when I'm hitting it, that I'm really biting through the ball. Okay? So, I hope, oh, oh a little drop shot. So I hope you got a lot out of this video, and you understand that by seeing the nine o'clock on the collarbone is a great way to get your uh, mind to mentally prepare uh, the racket to go through the ball and hit a lot of slice and bite on the ball. This ball's gonna be great because it stays low. It's gonna mix up the pace that your opponents are used to. More than likely, it gives you an opportunity to attack or move forward. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Quick little tip, if you like this video, give me a like. Leave a comment below about uh, what you think about this video or any other videos you'd like me to produce in the future. This is Kevin Grawlington from TotalTennisDomination.com and if you want more great videos just like this one, go over to TotalTennis.com and uh, check out some of the free videos that I have to help you improve your game. Go out and play tough.